Pops, it's Sam. So today I am doing a Dior unboxing and I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me showing you guys the products in action, putting them on my face. But first I'm gonna show you the actual Dior unboxing. Everything always comes so beautifully packaged from Dior and they reached out to me and asked me if I would like to have some items gifted. So I was able to just get a gift card and pick out what I wanted from the Dior website, which was very, very exciting. So a huge thank you to Dior for gifting me these items. You guys, they are so beautiful. And you guys know I'm a huge fan of the, the Dior um, lip oils. I've bought all of the shades. They're so beautiful. They're my absolute favorite lip gloss or lip oil out there. But I wanted to try out the little lip, what are they called? The Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm. They have two new shades. Um, so I got those and they have new blushes and their blushes are insane. Like, let me just get up close. You guys can really see the true the truthness of this. If that's not the most perfect peach blush you've ever seen, like, I don't know what is. That is, it's not even showing how fabulous it is. It is so spectacular. So, I have some new blushes. I have some new lip products. I also got the cutest hand lotion ever. I put it in this bag. It didn't come like this. Um, for my purse, because I've always, like, I always have dry hands and I always need a cute hand cream. But, like, this is really fancy. And it makes me feel like I'm totally living my best life and I'm successful. And you know what? Sometimes you just need a little fancy thing in your bag to make you feel like you got this. You're doing okay in life. This is so cute, you guys. This is called the La Balm. It's the, the Balm Hands, Lips, and Body. It's like a little hand cream and you just flip up the top like this. It's so smoothing. It just squeezes out. It smells. I don't really think it has a scent actually. Let me smell. Mm, very subtle. Very, very subtle. It's not overwhelming at all, but it's the silkiest, most lovely hand cream, but it's not like um, a thick hand cream, but it's also not like a wet lotion. It's almost like, I don't know. I don't, it's just really, it's got a slip to it, but it feels like it's filling in all of the wrinkles and like dry, crusty pores. Not that you have pores on your fingers. Do you? The wrinkles, I don't know. It's just so, like, look. Do you see that glow it's given? It's just so, it's so beautiful. So you can keep that in your bag and you're gonna look so fancy when you pull it out and you're like, oh, darling, do you need some hand cream? And they'll be like, yes. And you'll be like, here you go. And they'll be like, wow, she's doing great in life. I mean, it's a little pricey, but like, honestly, it's just so, so beautiful it's so cute the little ball like the little circle i love it but it also feels amazing and my skin's look really my hand looks amazing and young and glowy like that's actually really pretty you could probably put this on your body anyway it's fab it makes me feel fab all my batteries are dead that's really unfortunate because i have so many videos to film today clearly i am not being a good planner lately anyway i'm gonna go before this cuts me off let's get into the unboxing then we'll get into the get ready with me you'll see start to finish my skin prep my foundation everything as well as my perfume my jewelry all the things i hope that you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching thank you to dior for gifting me these fabulous products and let's go ahead and get started okay guys so here is the dior package it always comes really beautifully packaged and then this i think is what has the receipt and the shipping label yes it does yep shipping label receipt so it's so pretty oh my gosh i just absolutely love it it's so beautiful Okay, so when you open it up, you've got your tissue paper, a little Dior sticker. So we have the Rouge blush. I got the color, what does it say? 277. Okay guys, so this is the 277. Oh my gosh. That's actually a really good size. Comes with a little brush. You've got a good size mirror. Okay, that's the color. So it's like a really pretty pink. It does look like it has little sparkles in it. Okay, next we have the Rouge blush in 028 Atrice this color is gonna be I think my new favorite it's such a beautiful peachy color and it's got little sparkles as well rouge blush in the color 219 rose mon mon montag <coughs> montaigne montagna don't know how you say it so that's one is kind of like a pink with kind of like a gold shimmer to it it's um almost like a nudie rose okay then I got the Christian Dior La Balm this is like their hand cream and you guys it's so cute I got it for my purse just wait until you see what it looks like. 
You guys look how cute that is. That's how it squeezes out. It's like a little circle for your purse. You can do this on your hands, lips, and body. I got it for my purse for my hands. Let's have a sniff. I don't really smell anything. What a cute present that would be for someone. Oh, <gasps> bridesmaid present? I think so. Next, I got the Dior Addict Lip Glow in 055 Soft Rose. Okay guys, so that is the color. It's a little rosier than I was thinking, but I feel like it might be quite sheer. So I'll swatch it. Well, I'll just try this on my lips so that we can see what it looks like. I also got Sienna in the Dior Attic Lip Glow. I just haven't have I haven't tried any of these yet, and this one looked really cool. Okay, so that's what that one looks like. So a little bit deeper. I feel like it's going to give you like a really like natural kind of blushed, like flushed look on your lips. And then I did get a free little gift. I was able to pick some samples, so the free gift is in here. So here are the samples I chose. I got the Jador perfume, the Dior Homme, or however you say it, Sport, and then also the Dior, Dior Riviera, Dior, Dior Riviera, I think is how you say it. So the Dior Riviera is very green, is how I would describe it. It's kind of like that fresh, kind of green, almost herbally, but not. Let me have another sniff. It's actually really nice. It's kind of clean and soapy, but then green, if that makes sense. It's actually a really nice, like, spring summer scent. The Jador, or Jador, however you say it, is like, oh, so yummy. Is it floral? I'm not really sure what Jador is, but it's actually very nice, very sophisticated. Smells like you're rich. So I've already prepped my skin. I got this new mask from Clarins. It's the Cryo Flash Cream Mask. You guys, this is legit. It's a little pricey, however, it feels almost like an ice bath for your face, but in a mask version. So it's actually supposed to feel cold and it does instant tightening, firming and glow booster. You put it on for 10 minutes, I left mine on for 20. The entire time, your skin feels super duper cold. Not tingly peppermint, cold, like an ice bath. It instantly firmed, it instantly tightened, my pores shrunk down, my face felt so cold and refreshed, I felt like everything sucked up, and I have a really beautiful glow. So, we're loving it. That was the first thing I did, then I did all my acne treatments, my vitamin C, my hyaluronic acid, my moisturizer. Then I went in and I just bought this. I saw someone using it on TikTok and I was like, oh, that looks amazing. This is the In Beauty Project Face Glaze and it basically is just like a little glow. It says like a ring light for your skin, adds a soft focus glow and supports skin barrier. It's supposed to hydrate and glow. It's got vegan squalane, ceramides and hyaluronic acid. So that's what I put on afterwards and it does give you a super beautiful glow and it's a super cute little packaging. I also bought this when I was um, ordering that. This is the In Beauty Project Bright and Tight Eye Cream. Visibly improves dark circles and wrinkles, instantly brightens. It's infused with vitamin C, tranexa, tranexa Oh, I don't know how to say that word. Tranexamic. Tranexamic. I think I've said it right. Acid and peptides. It's an eye cream. So basically, I'll just put a little bit more on. It comes out like that color. So it almost looks like, not concealer, but you know what I mean? It's, it's definitely got like a little bit of a pigment to it. And then you just pop it under the eyes. And it gives you the most gorgeous, like brightening effect. It's very, very thin though, and it doesn't make my eyes water. But you guys see that instant glow it gave me? Yeah, you do. So you can see on my hand how it gives you like that glow immediately. The texture of it is very, very um, silky and smoothing, but like not thick. So I've got a glow under my eyes now. And then I've got the Benefit Benetint on my lip. I've been loving this primer, you guys. This is the Lottie London Bubble Tea Primer. It's a hydrating primer, which normally I don't go for because I'm like, I'm scared. Packaging is so cute. It's got little bubbles in it. Um, but it makes your skin look so incredible. Um, and it's been fine with my oily skin. So I've been using this all over. It has a really, really lovely scent. Kind of like Melanie. It's, it's just... It's super smoothing, it's super like thin and lightweight. So I just put that all over my face. And then I kind of just let it sit, but it like makes your skin look almost kind of like dewy, but not 
it's not shiny it just like makes it look really hydrated and yummy and it almost like plumps up the skin a little bit it's really nice so even if you are oily don't be scared okay i'm gonna do a little mix rooney today am i tan enough for this let's hope so i haven't i haven't spray tanned in so long this is just all my natural color i have a real tan all of it no self tanner on right now you guys this is just me me being real sunbathed at cassie's house because she has the most amazing oh i have a fluff most amazing pool ever so i'm like real i know i'm so excited i actually think i'm gonna take these necklaces off because i got some new ones that i'm gonna put on once i put on my foundation i am just gonna go ahead and do a few pumps of the dior forever natural nude so i think i'm gonna do three pumps and three pumps so this is 4.5 n Ooh, that is dark i'm scared and then I have the Skin Glow in 4N. Maybe I'll do four of the 4N because the 4.5 is looking mighty dark. Oh God, I don't know about this, you guys. This might have been a bad choice. It's looking really dark and I'm not spray tanned. This is the problem when you get everything to match your spray tan. Then when you're not spray tanned, it doesn't match you anymore. And normally I would be spray tanned, but... I got a real tan and I was kind of peeling just a little bit and I didn't want to get a spray tan and get it stuck all over my peeling skin because that would not be very cute. So I've got my little Morphe sponge. I love this one, you guys. It's great. Oh, it's okay. We're going to blend it into the chest. My chest is a lot darker than my face, so we're going to make it work. It's going to be fine. I hope. Just my neck is so white because I obviously don't tan it. Oh yeah, that's blended completely fine. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer and we're just gonna go, I just almost stopped myself right in the eye. I wish that they would still sell this at Sephora. It really makes me mad that the only place I can get it is on milkmakeup.com. Like, why did they take it away from Sephora? It's the best concealer out there. I don't think I will ever find one better than this. It's thin, it doesn't get stuck in your fine lines and wrinkles. It doesn't look cakey, it doesn't collect. It does a beautiful job and the color is just absolute perfection. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Touche Eclat. Oh! Oh my God, I just got that in my boob. And we're just gonna pop that right in the center here. That's got a little bit of a kind of pinkier undertone oh wow see how beautiful that is that's the great thing about concealer is if your foundation is just a weeny bit dark bring it down your chest no one's gonna know those two together is such a beautiful thin formula and that little bit of peachiness from the touche claw kind of just like cancels out any like blue or just darkness but it's so thin especially if you are more mature or my age and you don't want something super heavy underneath the skin i love the elf one but sometimes it is you know it's not heavy but it's definitely not as thin as this i'm just gonna add a little bit here of that YSL Touche Claw just in the inner corner just because she's tired. It's been a busy summer so far. I feel like I haven't stopped. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I'm trying to juggle, keeping the kids busy, working. I did the Nordstrom sale. I went to my friend Cassie's. Went to San Francisco. There's just been a lot going on and I'm just a little bit pooped out to be honest. Okay, the skin is skinning. <laughs> okay, so for highlight I'm taking Laura Mercier Celestial Light. And then I'm taking just a little bit of the Christian Dior, um, what is this called? Coral Cruise. It's the Dior Forever Couture Luminizer. So I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth in the two. The Coral Cruise has like a really pretty golden um, kind of sheen to it. 
So that's why I'm just kind of like going back and forth in the two. And then just under the eyes, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Celestial Light and I just go like literally right in the dark spot because we want to reflect a little light and distract from that dark circle that I really don't like. And then with the Celestial Light, I'm just going down the center of my nose on the very tip of my nose and the Cupid's bow. Contour, I'm gonna take the Christian Dior Dior Forever Natural Bronze in 005 Warm Bronze. This is a little cool for me, even though it says warm, it does go just a squidge ashy. So I'm just gonna keep it right in the hollow, just to kind of chit, there's hair stuck all over me, just to kind of chisel out. But do you see how it kind of goes a little cool on me? I'm gonna take Give Me Sun. We're just gonna go right on top of that. And this is just gonna help. What is happening out here? It's so loud. My God. I just love this one because it's so skin-like. It never looks powdery and it's such a beautiful color. I just have a really hard time with things going very muddy and ashy on me and we don't want that. Right in the double chin. And I just kind of like will blend everything out just to make sure everything matches really well. You guys been watching Love Island? I'm addicted. I seriously just love it so much. It's such a good show. And this season is a really good one. There's been a few seasons where like I haven't watched the whole season because like the people just like they didn't bring me in. Do you know what I mean? Like I couldn't get I couldn't get connected to them. But this season, like I am involved. I'm super involved. So I'm gonna go under the lip. Basically just do like a little curved line just right here. And it just kind of helps to like lift the nose. Okay, now we get to move on to the fun part. I have all of these Dior blushes that I just showed you guys. 219 Rose. So that's what that one looks like. So that almost looks like a peach with like a gold sheen to it. That's really pretty. 277, which is like a really pretty pink. So let, ooh, yeah, okay, so that's just a satin, true pink color. 028 Atrice, this one's also a satin. The rose one is a, <gasps> that one is literally so beautiful. Oh, I love it so much. It's got so many little shimmers in it. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna do the rose one first. This one is like the really glowy, shimmery one. So we're gonna put this one down first. Oh, <gasps> that's so pretty. It just gives you like a really pretty peachy golden sheen. Oh God, yes. That's amazing. That's so pretty. I cannot wait. Okay. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of that 027, or I'm sorry, 028 Atrice. It's really peachy and beautiful. <gasps> oh my God, these are amazing. These are so amazing, you guys. That combo right there, I was literally burning up. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go in with the Givenchy. This is the Prism Libre or Prisme Libre in number three. I'm like seriously obsessed with this blush. We're just gonna bake underneath the eyes. And then whatever's left on the puff, I start to work my way down onto the rest of the face. Also, I'm sorry about my that noise, my alarm clock. I don't know how to turn it off. I don't have the app. Jay normally turns it off on the app, but he didn't turn it off this morning because I was still sleeping when he left for work and I cannot figure out how to turn it off. Man, that robe that I was wearing was making me so hot. That's gonna be an amazing robe in the winter. It's a little warm in here today though. So I think for today, Maybe too hot for me. Okay, so we're just filling in all the pores and then I'm gonna go ahead and bake. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to take Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And then I'm gonna go in with 054 of the Dior Addict Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm. Am I in focus? Silly. So they're, they're so cute. And they're very sheer. And they smell super yummy. Kind of like vanilla mint. So we're just gonna pop that on and see what this color looks like. Oh, so they're super natural. It's very sheer. It doesn't put down a whole lot of color. Let's just try the 055 and see what that looks like. This one's got a little bit more of a pinky tone to it. They feel really like they have a good slip to them. There's a hair. They smell amazing. Oh, that's really pretty. So if you're looking for something that's not like super duper shiny, but it gives you like a nice shine. It's like a very natural shine. It's nothing major. It's not like, whoa, why is her lip so glossy? It's like a more of a kind of natural shine, natural gloss. That's really pretty. And the those two colors together are super duper beautiful. I like a little bit more shine. So I am going to amp it up just a little bit with the Lip Glow Oil. Um, this is in the color Raspberry from Dior. These are my absolute favorite. I will never be without them. I have them in almost every single color. So I just like it to be extra glossy. So I'll just show you the difference. So see, that's like super wet looking now. But that little combo together is very not, it's like a very natural lip color. Those would be good to just keep in your bag. You know, if you just want like a little, doo -doo. I'm just gonna brush up my brows and make sure they're not looking It's so like this one is my good one and this one is just being a real pain in the bum. I think I am just gonna take a little, they're just being wild today. I don't know what's happening. I'm gonna take a little bit of the NYX, the brow glue. It's like once the lamination isn't fresh, They go all wild. So this is the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil in Cold Brew. This is a really good color if you've had a lamination, or I'm sorry, as a, um, a brow tint, because my usual one is very, very ashy. And it doesn't really match the hair anymore. And then I just basically fill in the bottom part. And the tail, and then I just put in strokes with my NYX brow pencil, or brow pen. Okay, so I have it like that, and then I go in with my NYX brow pen. This is an ash brown, and I just fill in the little sparse bits. Brows are done. I'm gonna take this little Dior palette. This is the Five Colors Couture uh, Eyeshadow Palette in 233 Eden Rock. It looks like this. I'm actually just gonna take this little color right here. This is really pretty for the brow bone because it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. So it adds a little bit of a glow. It's kind of like a golden, like creamy glow. See how pretty that is? It's just like really pretty for this summer because it just, it just like kind of lights up the brow bone and catches the light like really pretty. Next, I'm gonna take this orangey color right here and I'm gonna go all over 
my lid with that that's super subtle it doesn't put down a ton of color it just adds like a little bit of a warmth to the eye yeah and it's kind of got a sheen it's really pretty then i'm gonna go in with this color right here it's in the middle it's kind of like a taupey like brown and then right on the bottom i'm gonna go in with this darker color and we're just gonna kind of make a very soft subtle smoky eye it's not going to be super dark because I don't want it to be like a ridiculously dark one. It's kind of like a natural summer smoky eye if you just want to add a little bit of something to kind of like make it look a little bit more like evening appropriate but you don't want it to be like too much. This is nice because you can do everything in one palette and it has like such a pretty sheen to it. It's so beautiful. So then I'm going to go back in with this middle color and that's going to go right on the lower lash line to kind of deepen it up a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in with the brown and the blue mixed together and that's what I'm gonna create my wing with. I'm not gonna do a major one, it's gonna be more of like a soft kind of smudgy wing. If you wanted a more like defined wing you would need to use a matte shadow like a dark brown for this but these are all kind of satiny so they have a bit of a glow so that's why i'm not going like too defined it's just going to be more of a kind of smudgy type look now because all the shadows are kind of shimmery i don't need to top it with anything in the lid because they're already hot they already have like a really pretty sheen so i'm just going to go straight in with my lash curlers I'm going to go in with my nude liner. This is super bright from LA Girl. And then I'm just going to go in with my Lancome Seals Booster XL. And that eyeshadow palette does give you a lot of fallout. So just make sure that you have baked underneath your eyes before you do it. Otherwise, all that blue is going to stick to your concealer underneath and it's gonna make you look like you have really bad dark circles. This is the Hypnos Drama from Lancome. I'm gonna be really careful brushing off the bake because there is a lot of um, powder down here, so I'm gonna just go one, oh, I just hit myself in the mouth. <laughs> and then brush off the brush, and then flick it off again, and by brushing off the brush in between that's just making sure that there's no shadow on the brush that's going to darken the under eye cool beans again one flick wipe it off two flicks wipe off the brush and now i can go in and really make sure that everything is brushed off that blush oh my gosh it's so pretty okay i am going to go in with my ben nye super white just underneath the eyes just to help keep those looking bright it also helps really smooth everything out and when i put the highlighter underneath it kind of just takes down some of that glow but then the glow still peeks through just a little bit but it just really brightens it up under there i don't use much it's just a tiny little bit and i just buff it on you would never want to bake with this that would be way too much. So you just wanna work with very small amounts and just kind of buff it into the skin. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with those blushes. So I'm gonna take the pink one, which was 277 Osei, I think is how you say it. This one's a satin, it's a, it's a little bit more of a cool toned pink. So I'm just gonna keep this one a little high, like up here, like right underneath the eye. Oh God, yes, that is fab. I love that. Okay, so we love that one. And then I'm gonna take that little peach one again, the Catrice, what is it called? Crap, Catrice? Atrice, no. Actrice, I don't know how you say it, it's the peach one. And I'm just gonna pop that right on top. I'm also gonna put a little bit of that peach up on the forehead and then just kind of like on the top of the nose. 
OMG, I love this so much. It's so beautiful. A little bit of the Lottie London Diamond Bounce Illuminating Highlighter. This is just really sparkly. So that when you go out in the sun, you have little tiny baby sparkles all over you and it just looks like you're a fairy. See how nice and natural the lips are looking? It's just like so cute. I am just gonna take a little bit of the Fulfilled palette from Red Aspen and just put my inner corner highlight in. This is just so pigmented and like shiny and frosty that it's just the best. Okay, now we are going to set my face. This is the Pixi Clarity Mist. I've been loving this as a setting, as a setting spray. It is so good. It's so nice, you guys. Plus, it's really good if you have acne-prone skin. So we're just gonna melt all those highlighters, all those little sparkles, oh, all the powders into my face. This smells really herbally as well. It smells like you're at the spa. Oh, I just sucked some in. It smells like you're at the spa. It's really refreshing and lovely, and it does a beautiful job of setting your face, and it's drugstore, so it's super affordable. It's not gonna break the bank. Oh no, I'm almost out of it. It's pooping on me. See how it's just like, it just melts everything in. It gives you the most beautiful finish to the skin. You just look like you're delicious. That's what we want. I'm loving the lip color. I think it looks so natural and like just really pretty. It's like your, it's basically your lip color before your lip color disappeared because you got older and it's just a little bit better. Like that's such a pretty color. It's very, very natural looking. Um, the skin looks amazing. This blush, it's just glowing up my whole face. It's giving me the prettiest little sheen to the cheek. Um, but not too much. It's like blurred. It's like blurred the pores or something. So pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. My skin just looks really glowy and hydrated and fabulous. And then the eyes are just, they're like natural. It's like a natural smoky eye. It's nothing major. There's no like ridiculous sparkles or ridiculous smoky. It's just kind of like a very soft, natural smoky eye. And I, I love it. Okay, I am gonna add some new jewelry that I just got. This is the Butterfly Effect Necklace. It's by, um, I don't know who, hold on, let me look. It's butterflies, it's so cute. I saw it on TikTok. Here I am, you guys, the girl who said they hated TikTok, buying things on TikTok. This is from Brasha, I think is how you say it, B-R-A-C-H-A. -A. It's like the cutest little necklace. I got it from Revolve. Um, but it's just like this really pretty little butterfly necklace. You can make it like a choker. My neck's not that skinny. Golly. I think I need to make it a little bit looser. Apparently I have a thick neck. Oh, uh, I think I need to make it looser. The butterflies keep flipping and I don't want them to flip. Don't do that to me. It is adjustable. So you can like wear it all different lengths. I think I need to make it a little bit longer so that the butterflies don't wanna flip. Why are you flipping on me? Don't be a flipper. The hopper. That one just wants to flip on my bone. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty though. Look at those cute little butterflies. I'm like a butterfly child. And then I also got this one from Revolve. It's for the lovers, the dreamers, and all the right reasons. It's it's like ADR or something is the brand. AD the reasons is what it's called. It says, uh, it's gentle, don't do perfume, keep me safe at night, and it can't swim. Don't put it in the laundry machine. I didn't think it was gonna be so skinny. <laughs> You guys, I think I'm too fat for a necklace. Well, that's a depressing situation, isn't it? It's so tight. Oh God. I did not think I, I never thought I had a fat neck until these necklaces. Well, that's a disturbing freaking discovery. It's really very tight, but that's just how it goes. So if you're any heavier than me, don't recommend the necklace. Cause now I'm feeling really self-conscious that I have a fat neck. Why would they make that so tight? Like, is it for freaking, maybe it's for twigs. I think it might be for twiggy people. And I am not a twig, so. We're just gonna make the butterfly necklace longer. It does look cute together though, doesn't it? 
I do feel like my neck is a bit suffocated though, just a weeny bit. So that's unfortunate. Who knew I had a thick neck? I didn't. Man, every day that you get older, you find something new about yourself that you thought you were doing pretty good on and then you realize, nope, nope. You actually have a thick neck, so. Oh, also my scalp is peeling because I burnt it. So I've got like little crumbs all in my hair. So that's really not very cute. What's happening with my hair right now? We might just have to do a little behind the ear situation with that and hide that wild bit. I have some new ones from Charming Charlie's. They're super cute. I'm hungry. My stomach is grumbling. I'm actually getting a bit shaky. That's how hungry I am. That's ridiculous. Well, it's 12 o'clock and I haven't had anything to eat except for a cup of tea, so makes sense. Ooh, these are blingy. Oh, wow, I love these. These are by Treasure Jewels. They're from Charming Charlie's. Those are fab. Da 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 hotline blink. That's what it reminds me of. It could only mean one thing. I'm in. Oh, good. those are cute. You guys, those are so cute. Just don't mind my hair. Those are adorable. I got another necklace too. Can we layer even more? Let's just see, because this is cute too. This is from Marshalls. Marshalls. It's not. It's from Charming Charlie's. It's obviously the Charming Charlie stuff is a little bit more affordable. The Revolve stuff was a little bit on the, not expensive, but like, you know, mid-range price. But these have cute little hearts. I'm going to make this one even longer. Oh my gosh, Becky. Look at her butt. Oh, it's cute. I don't know if it's going to stay. <laughs> oh, that's actually really adorable. I mean, even though I'm being choked out, it's fine. No one's going to know. I'm finished for the day. We need a perfume. I'm gonna take a little bit of that Dior. Where did I put it? The Dior Riviera. No, Dior Riviera. Yeah, Dior Riviera. I'm gonna pop that on my wrists, in my crack. Not on my necklace, because it told me not to, so I'll just do it. I'll do it all around the necklace. We'll do it in the armpits, because like, you know. Then I'm gonna top off my wrists and my crack just with the the Shador or Jador. I think that's how you say it. You kind of just go like this. And then it just like, you know. Ah! Oh my god, I dropped it again. Oh yeah, those two together. That's a magical little situation right there, guys. I smell divine. Okay, well I don't think this necklace is gonna stay how I want it to. So I think we're gonna have to say goodbye to the Charming Charlie because I think it needs to be shorter. And obviously right now I have the other ones that are shorter so that's not gonna work for me. But I am gonna rock the little, oh, don't move. Clavicle, get out of my way. I'm officially finished. I hope you guys enjoyed and found that helpful. I'm gonna have to say the Dior hand lotion, the bomb, must have. Um, the peach one, what's it called? A actrice? A I don't know how you say it. Anyway, the peach one, it's 028. That for me is so beautiful mixed with the 219, the rose one. That's a good combo right there. And then I'm gonna have to say that I think 055, I really like both of them together. I mean, I really like it with the Dior lip oil. So I just think this whole combo in general, I'm loving the way my lips look. You can shop all of these in the description link below. Just check it out. I'll also have it pinned in a top set, like the comment, the top, the top comment. Hi, I can't talk. Um, so if you guys want to check them out, the nice thing about Dior is that they literally give you all the free goodies. So I got the free perfume. I got three free perfume samples and one of them was like an actual like that's a good size. It's not just a little squirty bottle. So that's the bonus of shopping on Dior versus shopping on Sephora or where else do they have Dior? Probably Ulta, Nordstrom, is that you get the free gifts and I'm all about a good free gift. Plus the packaging is beautiful. So if you wanna gift this to someone, it comes in that beautiful box. It's so elegant, it's so pretty. It just makes you feel like you are living life to the fullest. Thank you so much for watching. My battery's about to tell me that it's gonna die. I'll see you guys in my next one.